Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my October TBR. Honestly, at this point, it's too late to do this, but I'm just gonna do it anyways. It's October 29th, no. It's October 19th, I definitely thought it was the 20th today, so. That's good, but anyways, we are going to discuss all the books I wanna read in the month of October. Probably already read some of these, I would hope so, since we're about two and a half weeks into the month. But anyways, without further ado, we're just gonna hop into it. Look at the books that I've already read to include those first. This book I want to read this month is News From Nowhere by William Morris. This is a book for my English 655 class, so I need to read this. I have to read it. Um, so yeah, that's the first one on the TBR. This one is Magnolia Parks. I got this on my library card and so I need to read it before that expires. So this is the first book in this universe. I've heard so many good things about it and I'm really excited. I will definitely update at the end of the month, which is like in a week and a half, but whatever. I want to read is Fourth Wing. I actually got this book from one of my um, co-workers. Hold on, let me grab this. The first edition um, has a little sticky note on it and sprayed edges. It's so pretty. I actually pre-ordered the second one which comes out next month which will of course be on my TBR for next month. But yeah, I would really also like to read that one. Marble of the Sower. This is the common book for this year. I am currently about... I'm about halfway through it, so I would just like to finish this. It is actually pretty good. It's by Octavia Butler. I had to read part of it for a class, and now I'm just reading the rest of it for fun. Honestly, this book is going really quick. I like the main character. She's a little interesting. Um, it's a dystopian slash sci-fi. It's definitely a different type of book. Um, but yeah, I would recommend it. want to finish this one up this month. We will have Golden Sun. I am about 30% of the way through this. I was supposed to read this with Sina. She's already finished it because I'm taking such a long time. I'm taking my sweet, sweet time to read this for some reason. The first book was so good and this one is also getting good, so I don't know why I don't just read it. I'm actually going to put these in my book bag because I think that will help me to hopefully read these. I would like to read The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. This is the book of the month for Jayhawk Reading Association or Society. Society. I always forget. I don't know. I should probably look that up. I would really like to read that one. Next I have some like random poetry books. I have some from Ashley, some from Major, and I just need to get through them. So actually borrowing this from Ashley, I went to this poetry reading last week um, and it's called This Afterlife by A. E. Stallings and it's basically just a collection of her poetry um, from four other collections I believe and it was so cool. It's actually signed um, but yeah, I'm super excited. I'm almost done with this. Actually, I'm not. I'm I'm currently reading it. So yeah, from Major, and I would really like to read both of these. The first one is Dog Songs by Mary Oliver. This one looks so good. I think we um, show this, which actually I don't think that book or that video is up yet, but it just has little dog um, portraits in it, and I'd really like to read it. And then there's also Time is a Mother by Ocean Wong and this major said it's amazing and it looks amazing and I heard he's a really good author so I'm excited for this one. Poetry book, it's called Dictee. This is for my poetry class and I actually need to finish this by next Thursday so I'll definitely be reading this. I have yet to start it so I definitely need to do that. I should probably add this to my book bag as well. Two more books in front of me so we'll talk about these and then I'll talk about the other ones. So this is The Need for Collective Change, Colonialism, Climate Change, and Consumerism. Um, it's called Consumed. I don't know if I already said that. The cover actually is stunning. Um, I need to read this before November, so we're reading this. And then the next one is called The Survivalist, um, which I actually, I think it's like a sci-fi kind of, or not a sci-fi, a thriller maybe? It's to be like a romance maybe? Ooh, yeah, and definitely a thriller of sorts. This actually sounds really good. So I also have to read this one by November. So we have a lot of books that have to be read. Looked at my syllabus. I believe this is the only other poetry book I'll be reading this month. It's Recyclopedia by Harriet Mullen. Um, another poetry book. And yeah, I'm really excited. We have a lot of poetry books for this month. These are just some of the books that I'm planning on reading this month. We, like I said, only have a week and a half left and I have a lot of books to get through, so wish me luck. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry this is so late. November, hopefully the TBR will come out like the first week. Fingers crossed, we'll see. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace and love. Bye guys.